Welcome to What's in the Pot. I'm your host, Sean Grande, and today we're making shrimp ramen noodles. It's What's in the Pot. Thank you very much for tuning in to What's in the Pot. So to start, I have about 20 pieces of raw shrimp. You can use any kind of shrimp you like with the shell on or with the tail on. It's really up to you. We're going to start seasoning the shrimp with some of the Medea Complete seasoning and some of this Tony's Creole seasoning. Give it a light mix and let it marinate probably for about an hour in the fridge. And then we're going to go ahead and start frying the shrimp. Now I have my wok set to about a medium high heat. And we're going to start adding the shrimp and just going to fry each piece of the shrimp until they're golden brown on each side because remember we just want to cook the shrimp because we're going to be tossing it in towards the end of the dish. Now you can see the shrimp is completely fried. You can see it has a nice little bit of golden brown. It's pink on both sides. A little bit of crispiness on it. That's what we want. Now the sauce for this dish, we're going to start with our marinade and we're going to be using a tablespoon and a half of brown sugar, one clove of garlic minced, and I'm using 30 milliliters of dark mushroom soy sauce. Now, if you don't have dark mushroom soy sauce, use about half a cup of light soy sauce, and I'm also diluting this with half a cup of water. Once we do that, we're gonna give it a mix, and then we're gonna start prepping our noodles. Now, I'm using the same wok. I didn't really wash it or clean it out because it has a lot of that flavor from the seasoning from the shrimp. And we're gonna start sauteing our onions until they start sweating a little bit. Give it about five minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my sweet peppers. You can use red or green peppers. I'm using the yellow peppers. It's really up to you. And you wanna let this cook for a couple more minutes. Don't let it overcook because we don't want it too soggy. We still want a nice texture to it. Now these are the noodles I'm using. I'm using your simple basic ramen noodles. You just wanna boil them up and you wanna undercook it when you boil it a little bit because we don't want them getting too soft. And what I like to do is after I cook the ramen, if I'm making it like a chow mein or um, a noodle dish like this, I want to undercook it a little bit and I also want to run under cold water so they don't stick. Our noodles have been fried for about five minutes so I'm just adding a little bit of salt and pepper for taste. You can use any kind of black pepper or white pepper um, and really if you don't want too much salt you don't have to add the salt. I'm adding some of this Bertie's pimento seasoning. I'm adding about a teaspoon and I want to give that a good mix and let this fry up for a few more minutes because we want to get that Bertie's, that pimento flavoring incorporated into the dish. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add half of my mixture that I made and we're gonna add that in and we're gonna let that cook. What we're gonna do is, now you can see a little bit of extra sauce at the bottom because we added the brown sugar, it's gonna caramelize, it's gonna give a nice flavor, especially with the garlic and the soy sauce. So we're gonna let this cook maybe for about five or six minutes on high heat because we wanna dry up that sauce but we also want it to caramelize and bring a nice flavor to the dish. So once that first set of sauce is dried up, we're gonna add the remainder sauce with the garlic and we're gonna go ahead and dump that into the wok. And we're gonna be cooking this until any of the remainder sauce in the pot is dried up. Now you can see after the remainder sauce that we added with the shrimp has dried up, we're gonna add some green onions to give it a little bit extra flavor, give it a few tosses for a couple minutes and then our dish is done. There it is, absolutely easy to make shrimp ramen with just the basic ramen that you may have in your cover. You don't have to make it like a soup. You can see, look at the noodles there. It has a perfect coating. It has a nice brown sugar caramelization with the soy sauce and that garlic. Our shrimp is cooked perfectly. Thank you very much for tuning into What's in the Pot. Till next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.